All right, Barbie bungee activity take two. First time didn't work out so well. All right, first thing you wanna do is take your packet, look at it, and make a prediction as to how many rubber bands you would need for Barbie bungee, to Barbie bungee 400 centimeters. So how many rubber bands would you need? And that's, you know, 400 centimeters is a good, good distance to, to bungee jump. So come up with a prediction. You can write whatever number you think there. Next, you want to tape a large piece of paper like I have here uh, against the wall, about six feet long or so. And then you want to draw a line uh, at the top. I have a jump line here. So I drew a nice big line. And this is where I'm going to, uh, that's where Barbie's going to jump from each time. OK? All right. Uh, next step is you have to tie one rubber band around Barbie's feet. It doesn't really matter how you do it, but you just got to secure it really tightly. It says how to do it on the packet, so you can just tie it really tightly. The first time I did it, she fell out from her rubber band and slammed her head on the ground and she, she wasn't very happy, so I wanna, you want to make sure that you tie it tight. All right, so we start off with two rubber bands. So I have one rubber band, and then I take another rubber band and kind of do a loop, uh, the directions are on the packet. So you do a loop, so now you have two rubber bands, okay? So you get ready, and you get Barbie ready here, and you have one hand holding Barbie and one hand, uh, the end of the rubber band, and Barbie's ready for her first jump. Okay, ready, set, go. And you have somebody kind of keep track of how far she's able to fall. And you don't really care about her hair because she can hit the ground with her hair. We, we kind of care about her head. So we're gonna kind of go over here and make a mark. Now, you want to do it several times because you want to make sure that that's pretty accurate with two rubber bands. So do it again, and kind of keep, I keep messing up this hand, but you want to keep this hand steady, and then let her go. And then see, again, just about how far, how far she goes here. Make a good line. After you're convinced that you have a pretty good line for two centimeters, then you take it and measure that distance. So this distance for me turned out to be 46 centimeters and I record it in the chart two rubber bands 46 centimeters now I'm ready to add more rubber bands to Barbie so she can she's bored at that distance she wants to go a greater distance so we add some more rubber bands so there's one more and another one all right now we have four rubber bands for Barbie Bungie She's ready for a more uh, exciting jump. Fix her dress because this is rated G. We don't want, you know, we want to keep all the clothes on. So please don't take any clothes off of these Barbies, okay? Okay, ready. She's going for a better jump. Oh, sorry about that. Going for a better jump. Ready, set, go, Barbie. Okay, so then I would do that again and I would come up with the mark measure that distance, and you get the hang of it. Once we have the data, we keep, uh, we keep doing it. We fill our data chart there, and then we can make all kinds of predictions. We can write an equation to go with that, and then we can predict whatever distance we want. If we decide we want to drop her from the stadium steps, we can make a prediction and then see. If our equation is accurate, then we should be able to do it and not hurt Barbie's head in any way. Okay, good enough. All right, and you can see who's videoing. All right.